All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna to be unboxing the Humane AI pin. I have just got my AI pin in the mail and I actually have it all set up here for us to take a look for the first try. So let's just go ahead and dig right in. And in the, basically it looks like it comes with three boxes and I have a couple of cameras set up below here. And it, look, it also came up with this really nice note uh, from Ethany, uh, Imran and Bethany, basically signed saying, um, you know, about how we begin our experience here with the AI pin. And in the back, it's really interesting. It actually showcases the three boxes that we have. So uh, it says start here. So we start with the bigger box and then it looks like we move to the charge case box, which is this one. And then we move to the battery booster, which is the back part. So let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at this right now. This is uh, pretty exciting. So it says, um, it's my first time actually doing an unboxing type of thing. So um, please bear with me. And, and I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to tune in here. And so let's just go ahead and start ripping this thing off. So lift off. Let's see. All right. So we have this here. And it's probably easier to do it over here on the side. Mm, let's see. Awesome. All right. So cool. It looked it look like it comes with this little like puffy packaging here. This is awesome. And it says, welcome. That's so cool. And, oh, this is really nice. This is a little like lift off thing. So um, let's, I also noticed this little nice touch there with the little emblem, that's kind of fun. That's cool. And look at the little uh, embossing here with, with the humane. I think that's awesome. And then if we take apart this guy, looks like this guy comes off. And we have this little attachment in here and this is the actual AI pin itself. It's pretty sweet. You can kind of see up here. Ah, that's pretty cool. Ah, there's the human. Yes. So that's where you would lift it off. And then there's some, basically, it says something about connected by T-Mobile and some other QR codes and things um, down under there, as you can see. So yeah, there's where it says human in the back. It's kind of cool. Uh, I must say the texture of this feels really nice. It may just be cardboard, but it feels very like premium. Uh, and then you have the thing that just says AI pin and uh, the, there's probably the logo right behind that. Uh, in this box, I think that's pretty much it. This looks pretty secure as far as packaging. Um, this thing's not gonna go anywhere. So we'll set this aside, kind of get this out of frame a little bit and kind of focus on some of the other things. Okay, so in our welcome kit, um, as we see here, let's see, we have, um, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna do it this way. Nice. Cool. All right. So as you can see there, we took off the little seal there and then we flip it open and it comes with this really cool, uh, nicely designed kind of insert there and it has a little guide there. And, and I think one of the things I really appreciate about this unboxing right now is the fact that it seems very intuitive and it's something that's just really nice and appreciated. Um, packaging, packaging goes a long ways and it's very, very thoughtful here. Um, so here we go. It says start and it says guide and it comes with three different type of things and there's a like sticker and I don't know if you can really tell here, I'm just gonna try to shine the light. Um, it shows this little, um, humane logo that's kind of cool well, set that aside um, so here it's actually where it tells us how to start welcome to your pin follow these instructions to get started um, and so it looks like it wants us to remove the AI pin from its uh, packaging put it right onto the shirt and then looks like we just once we put it on there we raise the hand and looks like we enter a passcode of some sort and then um, push the little button and we start going and then from here it looks like we push one finger, we tap and hold for the voice input, and then the s double tap to enter the, or enter uh, end call, swipe left or right, and then we have two fingers to tap and hold for translation. Okay, it's pretty handy. And this tells us about the guides for the lights. So these are the different lighting indicators that they have. And then when you have your hand out for the laser, it actually will also show us, um, we can tilt move to navigate and then uh, close the two fingers to pinch to like click it looks like and then it looks like you close the hand from there and let's see 
and this just tells us looks like what's in the box and so forth. So yeah, and how to actually set this thing up. Cool. So they actually, and this says position optimal is actually the top left corner. Must be the way that the microphones are set up. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Got a thumbs up here. Oh, um, what camera are you using? Okay, yo. All right. What's up, Sam? How's it going? Welcome to the, the live stream. Yeah, uh, thanks for doing this. Exciting to see. Yeah, this is actually my first time unboxing this. And I just thought I'd take everyone along uh, on the journey here because it, it's just really fun to be able to um, get to use these things and stuff. Uh, I'm actually currently using a couple different camera setups right now, Jordan. Um, I actually have an Osmo Action 4, which is the one that you're seeing right here where I have, um, and it's right next to me. You can kind of see it in <laughs> right here. Uh, and it's literally just pointing down. Um, I feel like that's easier with a desk space so that you can see what's going on. And then I have the Osmo Pocket. This is the one that kind of follows me because I'm planning to put it up here. I also have a Rode Wireless Pro and that's actually kind of hooked up and I have like a lavalier setup. I want to be able to, when I hit the button, um, record and, and you, I mean not record, but just so that you can hear what's going on as well. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome. What's up, Colin? How's it going? I really appreciate y'all uh, commenting because I can. Uh, I have using Ecamm Live, which is awesome, and this actually um, allows me to uh, set up split screens and also do some like different type of camera work so that you guys can see, um, you know, kind of the emphasis of what we're doing here. And so, yeah, there's just a lot of options. Uh, and then when we do some stuff in the user interface, we can actually go back onto the website here. Um, and so that way it just kind of changes things up. Um, okay, and yeah, and we're also streaming uh, live on X, live on YouTube, and also uh, live on to Twitch as well. And so you'll be able to catch the stream there if you want to see it uh, a little bit better. Hey, Sterling, how's it going? Well, welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. I appreciate everyone joining, and this is really, really cool. Um, yeah, Ecamm is awesome. For sure. Uh, yeah, thanks, George. I really appreciate the the, the shout out there. Um, yeah, I just thought you know I've been I've been I've been uh, in the tech for a while and uh, have been wanting to actually have a really good use case for this. <laughs> so this is the perfect thing. There's a lot going on here, and uh, I didn't really get to see a lot of this stuff. And I'm really kind of happy to be able to share this unboxing pleasure uh, with y'all. So let me just go ahead and put this away. Um, I, I think I. It's really fun to go through an experience like this because very few companies think through a lot of their packaging um, in the way that uh, like Humane is basically executed. And um, you know, Imran and, and the team, you know, like they have a really deep sense of design uh, and, and little really fun attention to detail, like these little embossing here. And um, I don't know, I just like, uh, this is not like a review channel, by the way. This is me as an engineer. I love to tinker with things, and I really appreciate you joining in because you're really just gonna hang out with me in my living room <laughs> as as we do this. And and uh, um, uh, this is not meant to like, you know, I'm not here to. I'm not a tech reviewer. I'm just like I'm a tech enthusiast, and I'm gonna approach this kind of that way. And we're just gonna continue to check out these cool things just like if you were hanging out with me um you know having some drinks at a bar or something like that so uh yeah so let's go ahead and take off this little um sticker thing here and here is that cool uh logo again that's awesome and um here's the reveal whoa awesome look at that i love the the white look and it's really really cool oh man this is just it's a beauty You gotta do one of this like cool camera streaming setups where you're just kind of like rotating this. <laughs> you could just do like the one cam thing and we can just be like. So this is gonna be interesting. So um, I like how it's shiny it is and stuff. Uh, and so let me just kind of take this off here. And it looks like it's attached to the back. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm gonna put back the, the two, two cams here that we have set up. Yeah. Cool. And yes, for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and peel this little sticker here. And put that over here. And it looks like from what we saw earlier, this can be removed. And it looks like it's actually glowing, which is really interesting. So it's, it's, it's probably waiting for me to do some type of attachment thing. 
Um, and it's really interesting that it knows out of the box that we've removed that and, and are doing things. And um, so yeah, basically this is the, the back of the unit here, have removed it and I heard some type of noise. And then this is the other side of that case and it's like a plasticky type of feel to it. And this is the one that will probably go on my chest. I'm gonna put this over here for now. And I think what we're gonna go ahead and do the is just- AI pin is almost ready. Just a moment. Ooh, I don't know if you ever heard that. Basically it just said your AI pin is almost ready. So yeah, I'm gonna figure this out up here. Um, I said up here, so let me kind of figure this out without messing up my things. Cool, I guess so. Oops, magnet. Um, the magnet feels funny in the back. I don't think it's secure. Um, there we go, cool. All right, so out here in Hawaii, I wear Lululemon and um, you know, got the sag effect Tap going the on. Tap the touchpad, then hold your hand out to get started. I don't know if you're able to hear that. Tap the touchpad and it says, if hold the hand out to get started. Laser ink display, try covering your AI pin with your hand and then gradually moving your hand away from your chest until you see this Yo. AI pin. So right now, what's happening is it's like projecting this laser onto my hand. Close your thumb and index finger to pick next. And it's asking me to close my thumb and index finger to pick next. And let me see if I can bring this setup into my, whoops. Here we go. Yo, this is sick. Oh, here we go. Close to pick. Yeah. Tilt and roll to move to next. Um, see, this is the, the kind of funny thing is I'm trying to like live stream and <laughs> record this, but it's okay, we'll figure it out. Tilt, oh, okay, so tilt. Oh, I think tilt and roll. Next. Oh. Close your thumb and index finger to pick next. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, so I can move my chest to um, move the, that's what I'm doing. So there's a couple things going on. Let me see if I can kind of get this to work over here. Actually, it's gonna work better if I do it this way. Um, I think the problem is, is that I'm trying to have the camera set up and let me project it onto my hand this way. I think it's probably easier for you to see. Hmm. Um, hmm. Ah, there we go. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it. Oh, you know what's happening? Is the refresh rate. So the refresh rate is doing this effect on the camera that's not showing up on my, um, on, in real life. That's why you're seeing it, the stream of the laser, um, not being project, like clear projected. Push out your hand for more. Okay. Tilt and roll to move. Push out your hand for more. Next. Push. Oh, put your hands out. Oh, I see. Now pull back in. Let's get you connected to Wi-Fi. Yeah, let's get the Wi-Fi's going. Okay, so choose. Uh, let's do a quick setup. Yes. Quick setup on a computer or wait on a phone or computer go to humane.center wi-fi to get started scan code okay lower your hand or bring the qr code into view of your ai pin lower your hand what does that mean lower your hand and bring the qr code into view okay try again okay uh, let's try to go to that humane.center thing that it's talking about because that would be cool to get that set up. I'm over here in humane.center on a different screen right now and I'm trying to see if I can get this set up so that I can, um, let's see, do the Wi-Fi thing. Let's get the Wi-Fi's. Wi-Fi's are so important in these types of days. Um, okay, so memories. Uh, okay, so I'm in humane center and I'm in memories, maybe kind of, I'm not seeing this right, um, but let me drag in Humane Center into my screen and share with you what I'm seeing. Um, basically, yeah, so I'll cover this then. This will probably make it easier for y'all to see what's going on. All right, so I'm in Humane Center 
And this is make a request, captures, notes, my data, there's nothing yet. Um, take a picture, track your health, play music, make a request, make a note, call a friend. Yeah, I don't really see that Wi-Fi setup thing. Um, hmm. Let me move this away because sometimes there's sensitive data uh, that will, may show up. So uh, let's go ahead and, oh, it says go to your profile. Okay, so Adam, thank you for that. Um, he, he called that out. And uh, before I do that, um, let me go ahead and what I'm doing right now is basically, um, let me get that uh, set up here. So real quick, I am going through, uh, for those tuning in, I'm just going through the setup right now and I'm at the stage where I need to set up the Wi-Fi. And so on a different screen, I'm gonna go to my profile because uh, it's possible that various uh, sensitive data could be up here here. And uh, I don't want to do that. So let's see, devices here. And then um, I don't see it in devices. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's where the setup is. Um, okay, well, uh, let's see. Uh, eSIM, I don't see that here. Let me go back and go to account. And I'm going to, hmm. let's see. Um, let's, uh, devices, services, contact, account. Devices, account, maybe account. Account, phone numbers, legal, hmm. Multi-factor authentication. Yeah, I don't see I don't see Wi-Fi. I wonder if that's something that's not currently set up for um, in the Humane Center um, because I don't. It's not obvious to me that it's not there yet. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just move on. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can actually. Um, okay. So this is pretty cool. As soon as I put my hand out, um, let me see if I can show you because this webcam is cool. So I project my hand out and it says, couldn't find a QR code, try again. And I'm projecting the laser and can I, pro how far can I project this thing? I'm trying to see if I can get this with the two cam set up, two cams. Okay. So here's my other cam. Let me move this back a little bit. Let me see if I can project right in. Couldn't find a QR code, try again. Okay, uh, quick setup. On a phone or computer, go to humane.center slash Wi-Fi. Oh, I didn't see that part. <laughs> of course. Yes, it's humane.center slash Wi-Fi. Hmm. Wi-Fi. Bruh. Okay. Now, now, we're, now we're cooking. Okay, I see it now. All right, let's see. Uh, so the network name, what is this network name? Oh, gosh, it's some really long random thing. My goodness. All right, let's go ahead and get this popping in here. So what I'm doing is basically um, going to uh, this information in a different pane and getting this all configured. Unfortunately, um, I can copy the password, but I'm not able to copy the network name. So I have to type this in by hand, like a very long network name with this bunch of numbers. Okay. So please bear me with me while I set that up right now. And I'm basically in another screen uh, typing that in uh, on their website. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, network is, no, okay. Generate QR code. So you have to tap and hold the touchpad on your AI pin and say, turn on Wi-Fi. Okay. Scan code. So lower your hand. Oh, wow. I guess it already knows because I'm logged in. Nice. So I didn't have to scan the QR code at all. All right, that's good news. Cool. So now we're at phase two where we're gonna be setting up um, a passcode. And so in this case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up right now. So we're gonna go ahead and enter passcode. To enter your passcode, push and pull your hand to scroll through the numbers. If you make a mistake, lower your hand, then raise it again to start over. Okay, enter passcode, yes. 
I don't see the numbers coming. Oh, I have to go really close. Okay, wow. Okay. Checking passcode. Yes, no. <laughs> okay, it's got a check mark. Welcome, Ray. Oh, that's cool. Man. Just one more step and you've got the basics covered. Your AI closed and open your hand to get to the home screen for a few minutes. Then you'll be able to finish setting it up. Wait, hold on. It went through a Oh gosh, this thing's hot. <laughs> oh, it just shut down during the setup. That's so strange. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um yeah, this is thing is like blazing hot. It's not even that warm in here. That's strange. So while we finished connecting to Wi-Fi, it said, welcome, Ray. And then what happened is there was an overlay that happened and it started to um, get really warm. Oh, it was already warm, actually. I didn't realize that. But it says your AI pin is shutting down um, right now and because it's too warm. So it basically initiated a shutdown sequence. And then I was like, warm? I don't feel it on my chest or body feeling warm until I touched it. And then it, right now it's actually pretty hot. The metal around it's really, really hot, actually. And we haven't really done anything at all. All I've done is just walk through the setup uh, and have just tried to connect to Wi-Fi, which is what we did. And then um, after it connected to Wi-Fi, then it, it shut down basically. And we're only like 20 minutes into the live stream. So that's a little uh, concerning actually. Hmm. Yeah, this thing is super duper hot right now. Whoop. It's on? Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. It sounds like it's on right now. Is this thing on? It's not responding. Hello. So I imagine that. Oh, the volume is really low. I see people do that. What's your name? AI Pin. The name of the operating system for AI Pin is Cosmos. Um, how's the audio, by the way? Are you all able to hear it and stuff? I'm just really curious. Hmm. Um, okay, sweet. So we just got through the Wi-Fi setup and um, real quick update. Let me see if I can get this camera up here. I think this one should be turn, turn on. All right, webcam, cool, sweet. All right, so uh, yeah, I just finished the setup so far and it looks like it's cooled down enough so that it's actually back on again. What's the weather like today? Papa Drive, Kailua, Hawaii, United States, 96734 is cloudy with a temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 25.5 degrees Celsius. There is no precipitation expected. But Celsius? What's... Yo, why are we in the Celsius world? This is America. <laughs> I know Hawaii is out here, but uh, can we do everything in Fahrenheit going forward? All temperature information will be provided in Fahrenheit from now on. What's the temperature in Kailua tomorrow? Finding Kailua temp. The temperature in Kailua tomorrow will be a minimum of 71 degrees Fahrenheit and a maximum of 82 degrees Fahrenheit, with a real field temperature ranging from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's legit. So Jonathan is asking, uh, have you set up the new phone number for the AI pin? So this is interesting because I thought I was going to do that through the setup process. And it turns out that you don't have to do that, which is cool. Uh, there's no like awkward going in and, and, and um, you know, fumbling around and, and doing like a phone number type of setup. Uh, in the humane.center, I guess because I received my advice, they already assigned a phone number to me. 
and um, that's cool. So I didn't have to go through any setup. And the, I didn't get to choose the phone number, unfortunately, so it's from an area code that's not 808. <laughs> so it's like, oh man, that sucks. I imagine I can probably contact their support and change it because you know, if I give some my folks around here a non 808 number, they're gonna be like, you from the mainland, brother. <laughs> they're gonna give me like, oh no, you don't belong. <laughs> so yeah, it, 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 can, it can happen. Loud and clear, okay, cool, I'm so glad. Uh, so yeah, just in the humane.center, I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this back in so that we can see um, and, and we can actually see a little bit of the requests here as I change my views again. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, in the humane.center, and I'll probably make this bigger so you can actually read it. Uh, this is basically what we've said so far and it has like the, the responses. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yo, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah, this humane center is awesome. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's, um, the setup was actually fairly fast. All we did was um, have just taken this out of the box and put it right on as instructed from the instructions and then went from there to get the Wi-Fi set up. Um, had a little hiccup, I guess, because the temperature got warm and it said it was shutting down even though it didn't really shut down from what it looks like. And this is still the, I haven't even got to the bottom half of the packaging. I really just wanted to start talking to this thing as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, I guess this is the charging pad. Oh, um, let me take this out. So, oh, I guess I pulled it from the side. Um, technically, I guess you're supposed to pull it out like this with two, two hands. And this, if you can see, there's little contacts on there that you can barely see. And yeah, I don't think you can use your phone number. Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, Jonathan, that, that is correct. Um, in, in the comments, um, basically your phone number is assigned and you can't choose your own phone number. That doesn't appear to be a feature until um, that's gonna be maybe coming in later um, in, in a future release. It's uh, not yet really said, um, but for now they assign you a number and that's your own thing. Um, for me, it's, I kind of like it because now I have like my own private number that no one else will know until I like, if you really want to talk to me, you're going to talk to me. Otherwise, my phone's just going to chill back there, and I'm not even going to take my Apple Watch with me. I'm just going to go to the beach and just chill. <laughs> so that, that, that'll, be, that'll be much easier, actually. Um, so yeah. Cool. Welcome, Justin. I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you, anyone wants to drop any comments, go ahead and drop the comments, and I'll just feature you here and, and, and um, have them st stroll in because we're using Ecamm. Uh, but this is the charging pad, and it has a little uh, rubbery grip at the bottom, and, and we should be able to put our AI pin on the top. And um, we also have what looks like to be uh, a charging actual, oh, this is really clever. This is nice. Um, and this flips out like that and you have USB-C there and then has a little thing there so you can actually put the, uh, the charging cable. And the charging cable should probably be hitting under here as one does. And this is a nice braided cable. It's kind of flat looking, which is really nice. And um, yeah, this is saucy. <laughs> oh man, I love the little details. This is really great. And I'm really gl glad that you're able to join the live stream with me. Um, this is not like a review stream or anything like that. This is literally just us having fun um, unboxing this thing because yeah, who doesn't love tech? <laughs> um, and so let's see, okay. So let's see, this goes around here of some sort, a lot of goodies. Really fun hardware stuff. Um, so I'm curious, like I should be able to ask it. Oh, I think it's off. Oh, uh, how much battery do you have left? Let's see. Is she mad at me? <laughs> Yo, are you there? Yo, I guess we're not talking. We're not, I mean, you're on me right now. You're supposed to be. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um, uh, Justin, what software are you using to stream? The rounded corners and the multiple uh, sources are cool. Yeah, Justin, this is Ecamm Live. This is great. I love this whole setup. You can plug in multiple cameras and then select different views. Um, so we can have the single camera view and I could talk to you like this. And then um, we also have like, I can overlay screen share. And then I also have um, like a split cam like this, just straight up. 
Um, and then you can change the corners and do various things and so forth. So yeah, welcome out, welcome y'all to, to, to the stream. We're, we're trying to do some big things here, keeping it real Godzilla. Godzilla big. Let's see, loud and clear. All right, all right, so um, I don't know if she's, hello, are you there? Bruh. Your AI pin is here and ready to assist. Okay. How can your AI pin help you today? How much battery life do you have left? 60%, booster 76%. Oh, that's interesting. So 60% on the unit itself and then 70 something percent. How many hours would that last me? Checking battery. 60% battery life would last approximately 26,280 to 52,560 hours. <laughs> that sounds like a hallucination. Like, if it does last that long, it's going to be the GOAT. <laughs> so it said that it would last like, last, like 26,000 hours. That's, that's pretty awesome. So <laughs> All right, so this is going to go over here for now, and we haven't even got, this is, we've only started here, by the way. So uh, in our unboxing process, we've started with this box. We've taken out the materials, the AI pin, the power booster, we have the charging pad and the adapter cable. And then what's next is basically going to be the, these guys, and the charging case is going to be in here, and that's where the device goes in along with its own user guide and it looks like it has this other battery booster pack there. So this is what we have here that's in the box. This is, this is cool. I mean, look at this. Doesn't it look like someone's face? It's like the two eyes and the face. It's like, hello, how are you doing? Oh, my antennas are up because I am doing things. <laughs> that's one long battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is, this is so crazy. All right, so that's, that's chill. That's pretty chill. All right, um, let's see. Um, <laughs> yes, for real, for real, this is too good. Um, and then let's see, am I right? The packaging doesn't have any plastic. If that's great, if true, um, I don't know what material this is. Like if it's plastic or not, or if it's some biodegradable thing, that'll be a really good question. Um, I know Sam and some other folks from uh, Humane could be watching. And uh, if you can just drop it in the comments, I'll feature you and put it in the little pin post here so that folks can um, know more things. Uh, a lot of people are really curious. So um, it's, it's really cool stuff. Um, but yeah, most of it, like this one, this just shell is actually like cardboard. It's, but it, it's funny because it's not like any old cardboard. It's actually a really, it almost felt like felt. It's just really great actually. Um, it, it's very, yeah, feels really nice. Oh, you get yours tomorrow? Let's go. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Please, please share. Um, and then Sam says it's all bio biodegradable. So that's, that's awesome. So yeah, include, including the clings. So, um, yeah, so it's biodegradable. Let's go. I mean, it's great. We're, we're in the middle of an ocean <laughs> in the Pacific, you know, like you, you gotta have that stuff. Uh, that's also really nice. So Colin it's all biodegradable in the clings. That's so cool. So yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you guys for being on live. I think that's really handy. Um, it's kind of cool. Cause it's like, we're all hanging out all in different parts of the world here, all the way to California, all the way to New York, um, and shout out anyone else, wherever you are, you know, I'll throw you up on the board and um, we'll make this happen. This is so crazy, this is cool. Yeah, this broadcast is really fun. Uh, appreciate everyone tuning in. Yes, sir, let's go. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get into the charging case because I think this is gonna be really interesting. I'm really curious to play with the charging case because it brings me back to the Apple AirPods vibes and I got to, play with them back in the day, like way back in the day. And I remember my first experience taking, like flipping the magnetic case open on the AirPods and the weight, it was just like, <sighs> that was so nice. Yeah, I'm a tech enthusiast, by the way, and this is not a tech review channel. And if you're joining in for the first time, my name is Ray Fernando, and I used to be an engineer at Apple for about 12 years plus. And um, now on my own, basically doing, exploring my AI things and uh, really love this, um, buying and testing out new products and things and i'm um, just gonna just tell it to you how it is and and how things are going and uh, just give you my perspectives as well from an engineering side of like what's kind of maybe going on under the hood as well we're gonna probably dig more into that much later but right now we're doing sort of like this surface level uh unboxing thing and um 
yeah, this is this is just gonna be really cool. So appreciate y'all hanging. And yeah, so this is really cool. I don't know if you can realize this. Like in the packaging, this is like a couch. Like this this looks like a couch. You know, it's like yo, what's up? <laughs> like this this is like you could just put this in your living room and just chill. Like yo, come in and hang out in my like little um like my little spot right here. Like this is crazy. This is just so good. I, I I'm sorry. I, I love the packaging. Packaging is so cool. And so now we have a charging case, and that's this little thing here. This tab, and we reveal that we have this guy. And we're gonna um, take this off a little bit so I can let us open it. All right. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna move these aside so that we'll have sort of less distractions. And um, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is awesome. Uh, I guess I'll follow the instructions and lift it like a helicopter. Hmm. This is cool how it has this little sticky thing. I guess this little sticky pad so it doesn't fumble around. The instructions are actually un tucked under here, which is pretty cool. So you can lift, sort of lift these out. Um, I probably don't really need to do much there. And... You can see how it comes together. Oh, this is gorgeous. So yeah, let's just take apart some of these here. This is really cool. I, thank you for joining in the stream, uh, getting to do this unboxing experience. This is really fun to uh, be able to share this moment with you because uh, not a lot of people can get you know the pre-order in like the first second, like the way I did. <laughs> I, I was, was kind of crazy and just kind of woke up and said like, all right, let's, let's do this all the way in Hawaii. I don't know, it was like two or 3 a.m. or something like that, so yeah. This, oh, I don't know if you saw that green duck. That's so cool. So, has a nice weight to it. In fact, I think this is, yeah, and it has a little USB-C charger at the bottom. So, I I guess what's not really clear to me yet, and because I, I I'm just getting too excited uh, about all my different things, but this looks like you can put the entire unit in with the little booster, because I see those little contacts back there, that, um, like right here that allow it to connect. And uh, I imagine that you would just connect this bad boy to this and it'd be cool. And I imagine that this is also a use case where it just kind of sits at the desk or something. And um, yeah, I haven't figured out the whole lifestyle thing, but maybe this is like what you take to put in your pocket to charge your boosters, um, which are I still need to get to. So let's go ahead and do that too. So, so far we have um, charger thing that's been unboxed here. I'm gonna put my little couch thing back in the little here. And then we have this guy, and this is this guy. And now uh, we're gonna do this other little guy here, which is now, according to this, is the battery booster. So that should be the battery booster in its user guide there. Um, and this is, um, for those who didn't get to see a little bit earlier, this is basically the note uh, that the team says. is like, as one of our first customers, you're at the heart of an exciting journey, and we couldn't be more grateful to have you with us. Inside this box, you'll find more than just AI Pin's complete system. You'll find our commitment to innovation, human connection, and a brighter future. And it goes on. It's signed by Imran and Bethany. And in the back, it kind of gives you the preview of what's the stuff that you receive. So that is really, really cool. And um, yeah, I'll keep this to the side. And then we're gonna go ahead and unbox this guy. Pretty cool. Sweet. All right. Ooh, upside down. Okay. Booster. So let's play around with this booster. Okay. Um, AI pin. Yes. Cool. Let's see. Unboxing this around here. And this looks like it has its own thing. And this booster here comes out. Yes. So charge before using. Great. And it looks like it puts it on the charge pad. So that looks like you just do that type of thing. Um, so we're gonna remove this. Oh, this is really clever. Okay, now I'm getting this whole design thing. So what's interesting that I didn't realize is that there's these two metal things are actually contacts. I, I can now see them. You see them shining. I thought it was just like an embossed or a print. This is actually two metal contacts. And why these are significant is because the charging base has those two little dots that stick out and they're so subtle. It's really hard to see and sort of hard to get in the camera, but you can kind of see. So there's a gray pattern that's printed and there's these two dots and these 
basically just go right on it, and that's what basically does the charging. So um, if I understand correctly without, you know, in just my engineering brain, um, it looks like it should probably work only in two directions, up, upside down maybe. It doesn't really feel well. It, it feels the most secure this way. Yeah, this definitely feels like the most secure. Um, so this is probably like the way to do it. Uh, and then this is where we plug in. And this is part of the booster pack. And this is the thing that goes behind the device there. So we'll put this guy away for now uh, over here. Cool. So yeah, we have um, the charging case, which is what this guy goes in. You can kind of see that same emblem thing back there. Um, this is where this guy would sit. And then the AI pin would sit um, in there with it. And you can close it and do its thing. And this is probably where uh, you could put it away to sleep at night. That's kind of what I imagine. Um, so that's that. And then the charging cable with the things there, which is pretty cool. Um, and that thing's there. Yeah, you can kind of see those. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And so we have this guy. Um, yeah, it's been sitting here for a little while. It's getting kind of warm. So MKB review, I'd humane are, I think so. Um, yeah, I, I think you're trying to say like that MKB HD reviewed it and it was like bad. Yeah, that's kind of obvious, but I'm not a reviewer. And MKB HD has like 18 million people that he has to entertain for his reviews. So <clears throat> there's a whole process that he goes through to pick those things. And literally, I'm just a small dude. Like, less. I just started my YouTube account and we're just here to hang out uh, and do engineering stuff and just play around and tinker. Um, and that's kind of my goal. That, what's nice about not being like a like an influencer creator person is that we could just do whatever we want. So we're just hanging. And so if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and then I'll just throw them up on here and we'll talk about them. Like any questions you have, anything you want me to test, let's go ahead and do that. Um, you know, we're basically doing this and, and just unboxing, just think of it as like we're vibing. Yeah, there we go, Sam. We're just straight vibing. This is the vibe right now. Um, and it's kind of like not everyone can afford this type of thing and I definitely realize that and I'm in a very fortunate place to uh, be able to spend some hard-earned money and I thought I'd share this with you um, oh cool as I'm talking my hand like the laser projector picks up I, I definitely like to talk with my hands as you can see <laughs> and and it does that type of thing so hey Joe how's it going yo welcome man thanks for hanging out I really appreciate that uh, we have Dr. Tiffany Jana as well. Hey, yay, good vibes. Yeah, that's what it's all about. We're all about the vibes. So yeah, if you haven't followed, um, I'm currently live on Twitch, currently live on YouTube, and currently live on X streaming. So we're just doing the unboxing, um, and there's an eight second timeout. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it's what's really cool right now, so the folks uh, who are on X, Sam, uh, we also have Colin and some other folks from Humane are currently live, and they're basically, uh, you know, hanging out with me, which is awesome. Like. How cool to start a stream and have some people who are from the team uh, that are actually hanging out with us and giving us some guidance and answering some questions, and I really appreciate that. Uh, okay, so the, besides the eight second timeout, uh, the laser won't turn on automatically unless you're getting a phone call or listening to an answer. Oh, that's sweet. That's good to know about these types of things here for the, the laser stuff. Cool, so, all right, so I think we've done We've taken the stuff out of the boxes and we kind of have this situation here going on with all our different um, products here to be to charge. And uh, I think this is now kind of where we start to do a little bit of the showcase to um, go through the product and, and kind of see, you know, how it's going to perform and, and, and do various things. And um, yeah, so I think what, what I have done is that I'm doing a, like a live stream blog type of thing where let's see if I can get this pulled up here. So I'm gonna do like a little bit of a feature rundown based off of their website. And what I've done here on their website, they actually have like a roadmap of the features that they've shipped. So what for whatever capacity I can, I'll try to do some of these things. Um, I know we're about like 40 minutes in, so this is, we'll probably do some of these things just to get started and play around with this and then um, kind of catch you later because I have to get some food. <laughs> uh, but any questions you have, anything you want me to ask it, I will ask it. So just drop it in the comments and um, that's, you know, I'll, I'll pin in and I'll say whatever the, you know, you type in <laughs> uh, if it's appropriate, obviously, because trying to do the most appropriate thing. Uh, but it's sitting here. It's, you know, it's on my chest, um, has like a little back to it. And 
Um, it feels a little warm around the edges, but not too bad. It's been sitting here while we've been kind of unboxing and doing various things. Um, so yeah, um, let's see. Are there any gluten-free sushi places nearby? Finding sushi restaurants. There are several sushi restaurants nearby, including Local Boy Sushi, Ninja Sushi, and 22 Kailua. However, the availability of gluten-free options at these specific restaurants is not mentioned in the provided information. Gotcha. Okay. Ah, that's interesting. Um, so Joel asks, is there a way to train the AI pin on the website? I think I don't see anything about that specifically right now. I imagine you're probably talking about like the agents feature um, that I think they're talking about in the summer, which can do additional things um, like training and various stuff. But there's not a lot of details released about that. I've only heard things, but nothing really confirmed. Um, and then here it says, uh, now that you mention it, it's getting warm. How's it feeling? Would you wear layers to keep it off the skin? No. Um, there is this backing that it comes with that's very similar to what's currently on the back of this. Uh, and this is almost like a plastic. So this doesn't, like the heat, I, I actually had no clue it was even technically warm slash shutting down, uh, according to the messaging, um, because this thing, it doesn't really get hot. It's the outside of it. Um, the, the metal part that's here, it's, is kind of actually getting pretty warm and it's probably like 75 degrees outside it's not really hot uh, and there's nothing really too hot on it i think it's just that probably because i've been using the laser to set up the wi-fi it's probably it's causing it to get warm no clue yet um, but it's not it's pretty like i wouldn't keep my hand there for a long time it's it's really hot but um it's definitely wearable and you kind of forget about it um i like warmer climates so that's kind of where i'm at right now um let's see Oh, okay. This is cool. Can you ask it for a knock knock joke? All right. Knock knock. Thinking of a joke. Why did the vindictive vulture cross the road to pluck out revenge? Oh, I think I missed it. Dang it. Why did something? Knock knock. Pin is ready to assist with any questions or requests you have. Knock, knock. Your AI pin is ready to assist with any questions or requests you have. If you need help with something specific, feel free to ask. Okay. Well, I tried. I'm not sure why it didn't do what it was supposed to do. I guess so. <laughs> um, let's see. Edit text. Oh, well, yeah, I'm having a problem with my little uh, things here. Um, all right, so now we're back. Okay, I have this issue. Uh, the cool thing is ask it about your surroundings. Hey, what can you see right now? Analyzing input. AI PIN does not have the capability to provide real-time descriptions of its surroundings. It is designed to capture photos and videos and recognize scenes, but it does not describe what it sees in real time. Okay, I guess so? That's, that's fine. Uh, say, tell me a knock, oh, tell me a knock knock joke. Thinking of a joke, knock knock, who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting C M O O. Interrupting C M O O. <laughs> sure, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if there's why they have shields to help with the heat or the exterior. I don't know how much it would help because it seems to be radiating from the inside out. And since metal, uh, like, I imagine there's a, a version that doesn't have the metal. And so that may not get feel as warm where the metal one, because it's conductive to heat, will probably um, have the heat spread out. I somehow messed up my, um, the angle somehow of this tweet thing and uh, I'll fix that later. <laughs> so this stuff kind of looks kind of awkward as it flies in. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try some other things. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. 
whoops, here. So memory recall notes, okay. Create a new reminder to call my mom tomorrow. Setting reminder. Reminders are not currently supported. Would you like to store this as a note? Sure. How many notes do I have? Your oh, AI pin couldn't find any notes or messages about the number of notes you have. If you'd like, it can help you create a new note or search for specific information in your notes. Hey, is there any note about my mom for tomorrow? Finding mom's note. Your AI pin couldn't find any notes or messages about your mom for tomorrow. If you'd like, it can help you create a new note or search for specific information in your notes. Mama. <laughs> there goes that man. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm in the Humane Center and I don't see a note captured either. That's strange because let me go to my memories and see if I can find that in my uh, Humane Center as well. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to pull up the Humane Center in the screen here and see if I can make the text bigger. So, um, how many notes do I have? Creative reminder to call my mom. Reminders are not currently supported. Would you like to store this with a note? Your AI pin could not find any... Oh, so it like didn't even save that transaction. Hmm. Wow, that's a weird bug. So, I told it to save the note, but that's not even stored in the server. Like, it completely like dropped that altogether. Huh, interesting. That's a weird bug. I'm gonna write that in my little notes here. So um, I guess issues, uh, created uh, a note to, or a reminder to call my mom, but uh, feature is not supported. So asked to save uh, it as a note and note is missing. Okay. So I'm also keeping a list of um, issues that are going on just so that I can give feedback to the Humane team. Uh, I think it's really important when you use products like this to kind of note some of the issues you're running into uh, and let them know. Uh, as people are getting these types of devices, it's really imperative to, um, you know, give people a heads up like, hey, like this is, what I'm seeing right now, and um, I, I would like to get this fixed, and um, and, and, and like present your issues or, or list of issues, and what usually ends up happening is the team's really good. They're like, hey, yeah, thank you. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start working on these, and they'll say, oh yeah, wait, we already have a fix for that that's on the roadmap, or whatever. And um, what ends up happening, uh, if, for those who have not worked in software, is that uh, if there are a number of customers that have been piling up and recently seeing a new issue or seeing the same issue, um, those types of issues tend to get prioritized first. Uh, and this is just a software methodology that, um, that I've worked with at Apple and other people have as well, and, and, and just software in general. And um, you know, I'm, the team at Humane is, is very seasoned. They have a lot of seasoned uh, software engineers, and I'm pretty sure they're just like anxiously waiting for this type of feedback um, to, to share with them. So uh, this type of stuff is kind of how you would write it up. You just say what action you did, what's happening, and, and then like what the, the next, um, type of thing you're trying to do. So uh, yeah, feedback, super helpful. Like this, this is the way you get feedback. <laughs> you don't just say, it doesn't work. You're just like, what specifically doesn't work? You know, and why? And how often does it happen, right? So it's like, create a new note uh, to call my mom tomorrow. And let's see, if this is a different approach to the problem. I'm not trying to reproduce it with Creating the same steps. Note. So it says. Note created to call mom tomorrow. Cool. Are there any notes to call my mom? You have a reminder to call mom on April 18th. Today's the 16th. What's today's date? Today's date is Wednesday.
Wednesday, April 17, 2024. Yo, what time zone are you in? <laughs> Processing. AI PIM uses GPS and network-based location services to set the time zone, ensuring it is always accurate to your current location. Mm, okay. So there is a problem with tomorrow interpretation. Basically, with me saying that um, you know, create a note for tomorrow. It's like, well, today it's Tuesday, April 16th, 5.33 p.m. here in Hawaii. And I know that this device was, we had asked it for weather earlier and it actually, you know, figured out what uh, area I'm in and so forth. And then we asked it for places nearby and it told me it's about places nearby in Kailua. So it has a sense of location, but then when asking it for like, you know, what time zone you're in, uh, and what it's referencing, it sounds like it, it's saying it's referencing this type of data, um, but when it's using it to write it specifically to the Notes app, it doesn't seem to be using that data. So there could be a, a bug there with um, like the way, what it's using to grab the data for that specific app. Um, and that's different for when you're using these different services because um, from what I've seen in the interviews and the way they describe is like these systems call out to these other types of clouds and services, uh, and then they feed back the, the loop here for what we should be doing. All right, so um, issues. So yeah, let me go ahead and note that as an issue. It's basically notes are created using um, a different time zone. Time zone. All right, cool. Oh man, I got to <laughs> Time is going by really fast. All right. Um, oh, cool. Look at this. Uh, make sure to turn on the Vision and Humane Center. It's a beta feature, and there's a toggle. Yes, I saw that toggle. I should turn that on because uh, I'm about to go get some dinner right now, and that would be kind of fun to ask it questions about sushi <laughs> uh, or just other types of things. And it looks like it's using Google Gemini or something for the Vision type of thing. Uh, so that would be really fun. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you, Sam, for kind of hopping in and, and told us uh, that type of thing. Um, cool. Uh, so received in Hawaii time and writing for Pacific time. I think so. Okay. TK, TK, TK? Of course, of course, yes. <laughs> cool, 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 awesome. I do feel quite a bit of warmth right now. Let's see if that's on the backside. I mean, I start to feel it a little bit, but um, yeah. How much battery do you have left? 60%, booster 57%. Okay, so it's still 60% on the device and the booster is the one that's kind of draining first. That's cool, I was just curious. At the beginning of the stream, we had asked it what the uh, battery life was and so forth, and um, it's currently draining the booster, so that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> cool, let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can kind of run down through some more of these things here. Um, left side, right side, cool, yeah, for those. For those joining in, basically, um, I have a little bit of a picture of the Humane Center and just kind of keeping some information here um, uh, about kind of what's going on. And if you also wanted to see, you know, what I'm typing in the notes here, uh, have that available at rayfernando.ai, rayfernando.ai. And in here is basically my blog. And um, th this is currently like the live stream for the unboxing. So as I'm typing in my notes, uh, let me do a refresh here. You should be able to see kind of what's going on live. And um, I was able to get a I made a, a version of a blog using Next.js 14 and have it tied up to a Notion uh, project. So any, I, basically my Notion thing is just broadcasting right into my website live, uh, which makes it really fun for these types of things. And so uh, I have ambitions to do a continued feature rundown for the rest of these things. And I will have that kind of updated here as we go. So that'll be here in the rundown for um, what we end up doing. Uh, and so, yeah, let me, let me see. Let me see if anyone else has any more questions before um, I end up running out to look at some food and stuff. Uh, let's see. Kind of going through the comments here a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Wow, we have a thousand people on on X tuning in for the live stream. We definitely appreciate that. Um, if you're not following, definitely uh, hit, feel free to follow and hit the little like live stream alert because I'm going to be doing some more streams uh, with some more testing of this type of thing. I'm currently in Hawaii, so I'll, I'll be doing streams here probably trying to go on the beach and just use it outside uh, for normal types of things. 
Um, if you had access to the SDK, what would you build it for? To me, if I had access to the SDK, I would actually use my GPT that I'm building. Uh, I have a GPT that would basically make scripts on the fly. And what I do is I, I would give it um, like a concept or an idea, and then it starts to generate a script. And that, I'll probably go through that type of demo on my next live stream because I just open up the, and, and I actually can show it to you. It's really, really cool. Um, and I have lots of GPTs that I make because I have been spending a lot of time prompting and um, have become really, really good at prompting and telling the, the language model to do what it does. And so that'll, that'll be really fun. So um, yeah, I appreciate people uh, giving you know feedback and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can do something really quick before photo capture. How do I capture a photo? Just curious. Finding instructions. To take a photo with AI pin, perform a double tap with two fingers on the touchpad. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> All right. This is like, and so technically, I think it's supposed to show up in the captures. Is that how it works? <laughs> that's actually pretty fast. Yo, that's that's cool. High res pending, connect to power and Wi-Fi. Now laser in. Oh, let's see. Uh, I think I could, I'm putting my hand out for the laser. Yes. Oh, I see. Take the photo and then laser in. I think that's what you're kind of saying. Yeah, yeah. So if I do take another picture. and then put the little laser in, keep it out here. Oh, okay, about uploads, okay. Oh, wow, so it does show the preview. I don't know if we can see this on the stream. It's kind of hard to see because the um, refresh rate is like not, uh, I need to fix my, can I do it this way? Does the refresh rate change? No, no, okay. I was just curious, because sometimes you have this, yeah. Huh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is like the other photo. I think the capture should show up in here. Refresh. Cool. Yo, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, this is basically my setup right now. Uh, I have a camera pointing down and pointing at the, um, at the table below, and I have my laptop there on the side. Um, and I have uh, in the other image, I think you're able to see uh, basically the Osmo Pocket 3 up above. And then I actually have an iPad behind that where I have another screen of things, um, you know, that I have offside that I don't want to show like in the stream and so forth. So yeah, there's a lot going on <laughs> here. Uh, but this, to me, this is like the real fun stuff to do. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is, this is beautiful. So yeah, humane.center, what, what type of, um, what back end or front end you guys you guys are using next? Yes, I love this. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you should implement the new feature where um, as soon as a photo comes up and it gets pushed back in, you'll just render it as it comes in, um, or and like set up a placeholder and so forth. It's not like I think it's very very uh, easy to set that up. But yeah, oh that's cool, sweet, that's awesome. Look at that, cool. Yeah, that's humane.center. And um, yeah, this is just the beginning of the live stream. And uh, so far we basically have done the unboxing and we've got to take a look at these guys. There's a charge case that we have here on the side um, that's kind of like nice and shiny and everything like that. We have the battery booster in the, the other box. We have our really cool packaging that we had here as far as the charging cable and so forth. We have the device. I'm gonna take this off for now. Uh, it's getting pretty warm on the outside, not on the inside, um, but just to show you guys. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. This is the, the white version, which I really actually like. It's just so, the details are really nice here. Um, yeah, this is, this is really cool. And then you can kind of see how it, <laughs> Yo, this is, this, this clasp is hard to get out too. Look, like, I, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to, I don't think I showed you that earlier of like how good this, this type of thing is. It's not falling off. It's even hard just to take this off together like that. <laughs> yeah, this this is really cool. So um, yeah. Oh, Sam, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. This is this is so awesome um, that you guys were able to join in and just kind of help me out with this. I really because um, this is really cool to just kind of be able to have these things kind of going on. 
Uh, so slide the booster off the pin, either up or down. Oh, okay, that makes sense because of magnets. So um, if you have the booster here, you basically just can kind of put your thumb at the bottom to kind of support it and just hit the little slide up and it kind of goes up and out. And so that probably makes it easier to kind of slide in. Um, so that could be interesting. And I guess to put it on, you would just kind of keep it up here and then hold it down. Uh, it kind of sticks right there because of the, like, the plastic part of the backing. Um, and it just makes it really easy to kind of snap in. So yeah, the first time was a little bit awkward, but now I kind of get it. Because um, the back of this is pretty like sticky on your skin. You can kind of see how I'm going like this. It's not really falling off of my fingertips. And then like, you know, it's kind of, yeah. I mean, it, to me, it, it, uh, when your skin is a little moist, it's really hard to move this um, because of the like, plasticky type of feel in the back, which is nice. Uh, and because it's sort of a plasticky type of thing, uh, it doesn't actually conduct heat. So I don't really feel it. Uh, I feel the warmth more on the outside and the metal parts of it. Um, but that should be chill. This is awesome. This is really cool. Cool. Already an expert. Yeah. No, appreciate you guys for uh, hopping on in and, and like sharing these, these various things here. So yeah, this is the beginning of the stream. I'll probably be on tomorrow do, going through some more of the software features and, and kind of talk a little bit about my experiences. And I'm also going to be recording myself while I'm here in Hawaii um, doing this stuff. So if you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube uh, at RayFernando1337. And then, um, yeah, y'all can find me there. Let me see if I can turn this on. Yeah, this is cool. So I should be able to type stuff in here, like edit text. Um, at Ray Fernando 1337. Save. Oh my God. Oh, I see. I got to expand this out. Yes. Chill. Oh my gosh. This is so wild. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is my first time actually doing like a stream like this. Um, like with the, this many cameras and all this stuff going on. So this is, I really appreciate y'all. Help uh, hanging out with the technical difficulties. And if you're on X, definitely hit the follow button. You can also hit the little bell so that you're notified next time I go live, um, which is pretty awesome. Same with YouTube. Well, when I go do my live streams, uh, subscribe is the same handle there. And same on Twitch as well. And uh, yeah, so appreciate y'all tuning in. This has been really, really fun. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out, y'all. Mahalo. I'll see you.